The tennis racket theorem or intermediate axis theorem is a result in classical mechanics describing the movement of a rigid body with three distinct principal moments of inertia. It is also dubbed the Dzhanobekov effect, after Russian cosmonaut Vladimir Dzhanobekov who rediscovered one of the theorem's consequences while in space in 1985 although the effect was already known for at least 150 years before that and is well described in contemporary texts on classical mechanics that would have been known to Dzhanobekov. An article explaining the effect was published in 1991. The theorem describes the following effect rotation of an object around its first and third principal axes is stable, while rotation around its second principal axis or intermediate axis is not. This can be demonstrated with the following experiment hold a tennis racket at its handle, with its face being horizontal, and try to throw it in the air so that it will perform a full rotation around the horizontal axis perpendicular to the handle, and try to catch the handle. In almost all cases, during that rotation, the face will also have completed a half rotation, so that the other face is now up. By contrast, it is easy to throw the racket so that it will rotate around the handle axis, the third principal axis, without accompanying half rotation around another axis. It is also possible to make it rotate around the vertical axis perpendicular to the handle, the first principal axis, without any accompanying half rotation. The experiment can be performed with any object that has three different moments of inertia, for instance with a book, remote control or smartphone. The effect occurs whenever the axis of rotation differs slightly from the object's second principal axis, air resistance or gravity are not necessary. Theory The tennis racket theorem can be qualitatively analyzed with the help of Euler's equations. Under torque-free conditions, they take the following form. I one Omega one equals I two minus I three Omega two Omega three one I two Omega two equals I Three minus I one Omega three Omega one two I three Omega three equals I one minus I two Omega one Omega two three display style begin aligned I underscore one dot Omega underscore one and equals I underscore two I underscore three Omega underscore two Omega underscore three tilde 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 text one I underscore two dot Omega underscore two and equals I underscore three I underscore one Omega underscore Three Omega underscore one tilde 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 text two I underscore three dot Omega underscore three and equals I underscore one I underscore two Omega underscore one Omega underscore two tilde 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 Text three end aligned here I one I two I three display style I underscore one I underscore two I underscore three denote the object's principal moments of inertia and we assume I one greater than I two greater than I three display style I underscore one greater than I underscore two greater than I underscore three the angular velocities around the object's three principal axes are omega one omega Two Omega three Display style Omega underscore one Omega underscore two Omega underscore three and their time derivatives are denoted by 
Omega one Omega two Omega three Display style dot omega underscore one dot omega underscore two dot omega underscore three. Topic Stable rotation around the first principal axis. Consider the situation when the object is rotating around axis with moment of inertia I one display style I underscore one to determine the nature of equilibrium assume small initial angular velocities along the other two axes as a result according to equation one Omega one display style tilde dot Omega underscore one is very small. Therefore, the time dependence of omega one display style tilde omega underscore one may be neglected. Now, differentiating equation two and substituting omega three display style dot omega underscore three from equation three i two I three Omega two equals I three minus I one I one minus I two Omega one two Omega two IE Omega two equals negative quantity Omega two display style begin aligned I underscore two I underscore three D D O T Omega underscore two and equals I underscore three I underscore one I underscore one I underscore two Omega underscore one carrot two Omega underscore two text IE tilde 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 D D O T Omega underscore two and equals text negative quantity C D O T Omega underscore two end aligned note that Omega two display style Omega underscore two is being opposed and so rotation around this axis is stable for the object. Similar reasoning gives that rotation around axis with moment of inertia I three display style I underscore three is also stable. Topic Unstable rotation around the second principal axis. Now apply the same analysis to axis with moment of inertia I two display style I underscore two. This time Omega two display style dot Omega underscore two is very small. Therefore, the time dependence of Omega two display style tilde Omega underscore two may be neglected now differentiating equation 1 and substituting omega 3 display style dot omega underscore 3 from equation 3 i 1 i 3 omega 1 equals i 2 minus I three I one minus I two Omega two two Omega one IE Omega one equals positive quantity Omega one display style begin aligned I underscore one I underscore three D D O T Omega underscore one and equals I underscore two I underscore three I underscore one I underscore two Omega underscore two carrot two Omega underscore one text IE tilde 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 D D O T Omega underscore one and equals text positive quantity C D O T 
omega underscore one end aligned. Note that omega one display style omega underscore one is not opposed and therefore will grow, and so rotation around the second axis is unstable. Therefore, even a small disturbance along other axes causes the object to flip. Topic. See also. Euler angles Galois axis McCulloch ellipsoid Moment of inertia Poinsot's ellipsoid Polode